This is basically 15 million resources and loot with just sneaky Thunderloon and 50,000 Dark Elixir. The beauty of this, you only need to send in one goblin for each storage collector. And then I missed a little bit right here. Polish it off with the queen. One million resources. This is why it's so valuable. This is the best troop in the game. I could get two star any day with sneaky Thunderloon. This strategy just floats you. You lose 10 trophies, you gain 10 trophies, you lose 10 trophies, you gain 10 trophies. It's a really nice balance. The key to farming is knowing how to read storages. These two elixir drills, you can see on the cube, it looks like it's half full. They're not worth raiding. When it's fully full, that's when it's worth it. Based on this storage here, I'm gonna get about 2,000 dark elixir from these two drills here. If the third one's outside then i can grab it too yeah this will be about two thousand total so three thousand total with all three drills not really that worth it this is a million loot base but the collectors are only at 15 percent capacity right now the drill's not even at 50 percent being able to read these are really important for sneaky thunderloon this is what collectors look like with zero loot it takes 55 hours for a maxed out collector to reach maximum capacity and only 22 hours for a dark elixir drill there's four different tiers of fullness for the gold and the elixir at three hours the elixir collector just starts to get a little bit of elixir, it's 5% full. At 20 hours, it's 36% full. At 37 hours, it's brimming full of elixir, but it's still not at 100%. It's 67% full. At 54 hours, it's 97% full. That's when you know the base is completely dead when you see full pumps. At 6 hours, the gold collector is 11% full. At 15 hours, it's 27% full. 26 hours, this is starting to get to the sweet spot. You can notice how it's a little bit different from the elixir collector. It's 47% full. At 40 hours, where it's exploding with gold. This is the fullest it's gonna appear. It's 72% full or more. And this is how you can really tell if a base is worth it. The dark elixir drills. At three elixir, it shows a little bit. It's 13% full. At six hours, the visual for the tank looks like it's half full, but it's at 27% capacity. At 12 hours, it's at least 53% full. This is where you can get the most amount of dark elixir. Anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 if you get all three drills. I think this was by design. Design. If you know all three visual indicators and the elixir collector is full, it's a completely dead base. When the gold storage is just exploding, you know that's worth it. And if you're hunting for dark elixir, don't settle for less than a full tank. You don't really need to worry about the storages. If it looks like it's full, it's going to be full. With Thunder Lavaloon, 22 goblins is the magic number with four wall breakers. Maybe a little more wall breakers. You could sacrifice one electro dragon. You won't see much difference. For Town Hall 15, the trophy range is around 4,000. You just want to see if your collectors are full. This is medium full. I'm not even going to waste my goblins on the storages one on each oh that's where the money's at i need to just get the tip of that nice look at that left all the storages and there's still all this no elixir or loot left i'm just gonna activate the warden we're gonna get that out and that's pretty much everything we need that was with only 17 goblins that we got 700k resources and the beauty of it is you just train it back move it to the front boop, boop, boop. search for the next base oh my god one million loot is it worth it to go for that dark elixir? Probably not. That would cost way too much in training. So, we're just gonna activate the warden and get those last, you know, just the two collectors. Oh, no, no, no. Warden ability is running out, so we're, we're calling it quits. 17 goblins again. We found a base way too quickly. We still have three minutes left to polish off these goblins. I don't know, maybe in the two minutes, you wanna check out what other things you wanna buy from the shop. Check your builder base. Uh, yeah, builder base, waste of time. Then you have the final goblin. This one is worth it. And because not all the collectors are inside, I'm actually not going to train all or send off all the goblins. We don't really want the town hall. We just want that dark elixir. We're going to wait a little bit. Let that poison do its thing. And then just send it all off. Little rage there. I'm going to have to freeze that. That's illegal. I'm just going to activate the ability for that. I'm really trying to get all three. Yes. There we go. That's what we needed. I do need to freeze that air sweeper. It's the bane of my existence right now. So here's the thing. My wall breakers are already done. And the barbs are already done. So I might as well just send those. There's no point not to, you know? Queen's looking a little spicy there. I think she can get at least one of these collectors. Oh yeah, she ain't passing that town hall. What's funny is that this was less loot than everything else, but I just had the troops for it. And then because I didn't spend seven goblins, we delete some there. Quick train the next army. I'm actually gonna move that right there. In that three minutes, I'm pretty sure we can survive with 13 goblins. So we're gonna search for three minutes and that's all about keeping this efficient. Oh my God, 1.3 million. All right, so I got one goblin left. We ain't no way we're attacking up here. So we're gonna take out this elixir collector and we want the dark elixir storage. We basically robbed all the storages. I'm farming for dark elixir, so these two are important for me. We're gonna do a couple balloons here, maybe a little electro dragon zip zoop 
Zap, maybe one on top of all the collectors. I'm going straight in for the balloon and sending all my heroes on the bottom left there. I'm just going to activate the warden right now. They're engaging in scary territory. I'm going to activate the queen ability. Just get that town hall to stop. Oh, wow. 70k is left in the clan castle. Can the queen get it though? Yeah, it's only one Tesla, right? Oh, that warden's going to be the bane of my existence. It's so strong. So close. 1 million loot, 250k bonus. Because I didn't use all the goblins, the next army will train up a little bit faster. This wasn't even the greatest example, but the fact that there's so many, 6.6 .6 million resources, 37,000 dark elixir in just 10 minutes. These armies take 43 minutes to train. So every two hours, you can farm 6 million loot. If you just log on four times a day for 10 minutes, you can max out all of your resources. What I'm basically saying is play one hour every day. <laughs> when I say like, like, oh, that sounds stupid. That's unreasonable, but it's a lot of loot. It's a good strategy. The nice thing about this strategy, if you see the elixir pumps are full, the gold mines are just spilling. But if the top left, there's only like 500k available loot, that's probably a signal that you're facing too many town halls below you. So you just need to use more electro dragons to climb trophies so you can find town halls that are only plus minus one from you. That's why sneaky thunderloon works so well. It's a hybrid comp of farming, but also trophy pushing. For really big bases, we could probably get away with the goblins just going straight to that so you don't even necessarily need one goblin per collector if they're clumped up really closely i've already got most of the dark elixir we'll just go for the couple that the queen can get on the sides and the king goes in too all right we're out we're out we're out and the goblins that we had pre-trained they're back to the full army we'll move that just there continue our search since i'm reaching end game i kind of do need dark elixir more than anything else so we're just gonna send the heroes to the dark elixir we did send some goblins to the pumps oh my god this is a dead base you see a million here there's none in the storage okay, that one's not that full they're like medium full but the elixir collectors these are really full so i'm gonna send two here and i sent it a little bit higher up closer to the dark elixir pump Oh, it just needed two hits. So in this case, because they were a little bit further apart, we did need to send one goblin per collector. And there's no storages to deploy my heroes. So, and in the time it took us to search, we've got 22 goblins complete. There's a magical range. There's dead bases in every range. But if I were starting to see Town Hall 12s and 13s, you only get like 50%, 30% of the loot. So I'm starting to see more Town Hall 14s here. I think you still get 90% of the loot, but it's not worth it compared to these bases. Oh boy, the storages are full. The collectors are half full. This is a prime example of Sneaky Thunderloon. We're just gonna grab what we can, activate some bombs here and there, trigger off some traps. I'm gonna set off my wall breakers. Two to each storage. What? No way. Took three. Well, this next one's going to take two. Wait for the wizard tower to splash. And then I send two more. That's going to take it out. If it doesn't, then we're deleting my channel. Uh, I have one more goblin in, in there to take out the storage collector, as I promised. For sneaky thunderloon, you really need to look at the air sweepers and where the dark elixir collector is. So normally would target the south, but we're going to target the right side so we can get to the collector and avoid the air sweepers. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, so Sweet. Oompa Loompas. We need to freeze some of these collectors going on. That They got no biz doing that much damage, especially that Inferno Tower. So I might have goofed up by not setting the air. So my heroes are kind of just drifting all over the place. But we got the Dark Elixir. We're good. I'm going to activate the Warden ability at this point. Oh my god, that's so good. The balloons are going in. The Queen's going for the gold storage. I'm pretty sure the Grand Warden's going to be able to get that storage collector or not all right well we're ending it off that's a million loot and then we just train again waiting three minutes is not bad you know maybe you just want to check out some of these overpriced shop deals you know use code oj or not check out the events you have gotta use a super bowler i can do that we'll just add a super bowler into there you know i've got too many raid medals so i'm just gonna dump it all in there Dump the rest into a dragon. I don't know how capital raids work, man. Yes, Super Bowler, thank you. Can I just do your dailies after you're done farming? Always farm first and then figure out what else you need to do with your base. And in the time that I have to figure out what I need to do, the army's done. One million elixir. Oh, this is deceiving. You see the gold storages and the collectors, they're all empty. It's all in these storages. Not worth it. This is a million loot base. The drills fill up a little bit faster than the gold and elixir collectors. That's not even that full. And the storages are all over the base. There's gonna be a a lot of loot in the clan castle and the town hall this one's a deceiving base to get all this loot you need a hundred percent and this is a pretty max out base we're gonna skip it what is this 2019 no we're out that was free loot and trophies and treasury that's weird seeing an outside town hall they removed town hall sniping 10 years ago 1.1 million 
two to the outside storage, one to each collector. The two goblins are exactly enough. That's so satisfying. And the best part is they have some holes. So I'm going to put in one goblin in case there's a giant bomb. Now that we know that there's not really anything, we activated the lightning spell or the invisibility spell. Wait for that to wear off and then send two more. One tester goblin. It's safe. Cool. So we're going to send one more. This one is, is done. I hate that I need to send one more. I'm going to send off one barbarian. Okay, this isn't how you're supposed to do sneaky thunderloon, but I'm going to do it for the video. I'm just going to deploy everything and activate the Grand Warden. I don't know what's going on. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. But it kind of worked. We're going to focus up on the bottom right side. The bottom left, it's done. It's a write-off. But those dragons there. <laughs> this is such a brain-dead strategy. Why did that work? Why did putting everything in the hole work? We got a million loot from that. Oh my god. And then you train another army and rinse and repeat. Log in every two hours. Look at this. Logged on 16 minutes ago. No boost. 700k. 750. 900. In 16 minutes, 7 million gold and elixir looted. 27,000 dark elixir. This. This is Sneaky Thunderloon.